Well, hello and a welcome. This is Nate, and I want to say thanks for clicking on the video. Even if the sun's not working with me very well today, it's like in the background, kind of casting a shadow on the front of the home as I'm trying to film. But we got this super nice stonework right here. Got it not only here, but we've got it down at that end of the home. I might be able to get you a better shot of it over there. But this is the Legrand. It is a Ritzcraft home. Comes in at 1,680 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, modular. Got the recessed front porch. I will check out those windows once we get up close because they are really nice windows in that door. This is at Clear Creek Homes in Bloomington, Indiana. So I'd like to say thanks for them letting me come film the homes. So here is a better shot of this stonework right here. Now we're not gonna be able to get to the back side of the home, but we do have the uh, 612 roof pitch on this home. So just wait till we get inside. Y'all are gonna love the inside of this home, especially that primary bathroom. So now your windows are kind of frosted. They're flat on the outside and a little rough on the inside. Looks really good. So as we come in the home, this is kind of the view you're gonna get right when you walk in. Of course, you do have the coat closet as soon as you walk in. Now storage is not something you're gonna be lacking in this home. There is a ton of it. And as you can see, we've got a little foyer area. So see, now you can kind of see a little bit more of that glass Never seen anything like that in a door before. It's a really nice uh, upgraded door and I like the way it looks. Let's a ton of light in. You can't see, they can't see you, you can't see them. But now I know you all can see this beautiful size living room here. Now that fan is really cool looking. So I think it's in the primary bedroom too, so I can get you a really good shot of it once we get in there. All right, so now as we come back around, I did notice, because I was back in the corner where the primary bedroom is, that I thought there was one in there, but I guess not. But now you can kind of get, I mean, it's a little harder to see still, but uh, really cool the way they did the fan blades and they just kind of blend in. Now we'll swing back around into the, we're gonna do the kitchen first, because it just kind of flows with the way we're standing. So we have the granite countertop and we've got really nice big pull-out drawers with soft clothes. The undermount sink, one of my all-time favorites. And what is this little guy? This is going to be your flat pan storage. and a tiny little drawer. 
They went with the GE stainless steel appliances in here. And these light fixtures here kind of go right along with the glass used in the door. We've got lots of drawers in this home, along with your pot and pan drawers. Microwave is at the perfect height, same as your countertops. Of course, they continued with the granite over here. A nice subway tile goes right up to the bottom of the vent hood. There we go. Now you can see we've got under cabinet lighting. Looks really, really good. Now we did have white on this side. We had the dark on this side. We've got our dining room. I like how they did this little shiplap wall over here. Just to kind of make things stand out a little more. Looks really good as an accent. Now you can see this is a very wide dining room table. That mini split up there is just for the show model. All their homes come with the uh, central heating and air. And I know y'all are thinking, yep, yeah, we got lots of cabinets, lots of drawers, drawers over doors, all that good stuff. But it's missing something. The kitchen's missing something. What could it possibly be missing? You know, you got sliding glass door. I don't know. Does it start with a P? What could be behind these double doors? Oh, that's right. We got the pantry. <laughs> I know. So I think the cold's messing with me. I'm trying to joke around a little bit. <laughs> oh, what can I say? We have a really nice light fixture in your guest bathroom. And as you can see, it's not your tiny guest bathroom. It feels a little bit wider because you got that little kick out on the wall right there. And I wanted to point out, now they had these floors all mopped when I first got here. Of course, it's snowing out, people walking around. They got the LVP flooring out here, so you don't have your seam or anything like that. And it looks really good. But in your bathrooms, they went with a different style of flooring. And it also looks really good. Now as we come into the front bedroom, you can see it's a very large room, very spacious. You've got, <laughs> I mean, you could easily give your kid a queen size bed in there and still have a ton of extra room here. Got LED lights in all four corners. So we have the large closet with the double doors. So 
So as I said, storage is not something you're going to be lacking in this home. Right here we have our linen closet. And we're going to do the utility room and then come back to that bedroom. Plenty of cabinet space above. You got the folding table, side-by-side -side washer and dryer hookups, and you can see they've got the 20 amp plug right there for your washer, of course your dryer plug, and we have another storage closet. There's your breaker box. And then to the second bedroom. And we have the double doors on the closet in here also. Once again, good size closet. That is your water heater access there. All right, so let's come to the primary bedroom. Really good sized primary bedroom. And I like the way the wall kind of kicks out right there where that stonework is at on the other side. It really adds to the overall feel of the room and making it feel like it's much larger than it is. Of course, these are nine foot ceilings, which also helps. Once again, in the bathroom, they went with this different style of flooring. Now these racks are up pretty high. I can almost walk underneath them without touching. All I'm touching is the very bottom of this. And even then, I don't even hardly have to duck. And I'm 5'10", so that tells you that those are up pretty high. So we have the freestanding tub. Hello, Raiden. We got the dual sinks, two drawers. We got the open space down below. And this is not a tile shower. It is a, uh, they called it a vinyl. So it's similar to tile, but these are locked together like the LVP flooring does. So it's not quite a tile, but it's not quite LVP. 
but he said it locks together real similar to the LVP. It looks really good. There are multiple color options that you can get. And what else would look really good is if there was multiple comments down in that comment section down below letting me know what you think of this really beautiful home. So this is the Legrand by Ritzcraft Homes. It is a modular. Now I know Ritzcraft can modify a lot of their homes. They can do a lot of customization. They were telling me the version that they filmed at the home show of this which is a different model, but real similar to this one. You can make it a full two story by adding what they call two more boxes on top of this. Yeah, you would have a very large home. But with that, I hope you all will hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I'll be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. Well, all right, that is the Legrand by Ritzcraft. Filmed at Clear Creek Homes in Bloomington, Indiana. So now i got to get you some price information. But first I'm going to pop up the scan of this guy. It will show you all the different options that they did in the home along with the prices. This one I can actually show you the price of the upgrades because it's what they're charging. It's kind of nice to have that kind of information. I know you guys have asked for it. And when I have it, I try to provide it to you. Get a little bit of value out of being able to actually see what the upgrades are and how much the upgrades cost. So I really like the Ritzcraft homes. I like the way they look. It looks like they put a lot of uh, quality into the homes. You know, everything that I've filmed so far by them has been uh, like a top-notch home. Of course, they do have their value craft, which I filmed a couple of them at the uh, Louisville Home Show. Chance didn't film them. In fact, I think he even made mention in one of his, one of his videos that he didn't film them. So if you want to check those out, check out the Home Show playlist. It will be popping up at the end. Now we're going to go over the actual price of the home here for you. <laughs> so as you can clearly see, the base price was listed on the front of it, or on the options list, and that was uh, just over 227000 But with all the options that they've added to this one, we're looking at basically 250000 Now that does include... Your delivery, installation, crawl space foundation, your crane, because these are modular, so it has to come off the frame. You know, your HVAC. Now, you probably saw in there that there was no furnace, because that's going to go in the crawl space down below once they install the home. And then, of course, you give you your seamless gutters and your plumbing and electrical hookups, all that good stuff. And that's all included in that $250,000 price tag. Now, y'all got to go check out these videos. And then I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.